So I want to share uh, one of my favorite new AI tools. This is Microsoft Copilot. If you don't know, Microsoft bought about a 50% stake in ChatGPT and all of the uh, open AI, which is things like Dolly. So they have their own version that is essentially really similar. It's, it's basically ChatGPT with filters and without all the lawsuits. So let me show you a little bit of how it works uh, and what it does. Okay, so here's a quick look at uh, Copilot. It is uh, many things, actually. One of the things I like about it is it gives you a couple exemplars here of how you could use it. And then you have an option for your conversation style. Do you want it more creative, more balanced, or more precise? So if you look at Copilot, uh, this is going to have a normal kind of, like many other uh, AI chatbots, it's going to have a limit. Um, but you can go to Notebook, and this actually has a much higher limit. So you have uh, 18,000 words you can put in here. So for bigger prompts, things that are more detailed, you would definitely use Notebook. Uh, for quicker uh, things or images, you would definitely use Copilot. So this is where you could explore ideas. You could also upload images. So one of the nice ways that I've used this before is to upload an image or take a photo. Um, so again, you don't want to put any personal information in there, very important, but I've taken infographics and asked them to improve it. Uh, and make it clearer for an audience. So, you know, it has some funny uh, and fun prompts that you can kind of use, uh, but let's just take an example for like a school one. So what's a fun, creative, uh, uh, and engaging STEAM activity for an eighth grade students that don't require any materials? Um, so this is how a teacher might use it. Um, and it's very good at these sort of uh, things. And one of the things I like is it does give you uh, some references too. So it's giving you some information uh, of where you could follow up on these as well. So here are some no prep STEAM activities. So uh, the subject is weather under science. Uh, learn about capillary reaction by creating a rainbow in a jar just by using water, food coloring, paper towels. Observe the colors of the paper towels. I've seen this done. Really fun, great activity for students really of any age, to be honest. On the bottom, you have some references of different places where you could have some of these and that gives you some follow-up questions. So do you have any math related activities? Uh, how about creative writing prompt for eighth graders? Um, that kind of thing. So, you know, this works like a, a typical chatbot. You can copy, you could export, uh, you could have it read aloud uh, and you could share it all in one place. You could also uh, sort it. So that kind of thing is really handy. So I'm gonna just save these. So that's just a quick overview. Obviously this tool is growing and getting better. Um, uh, so, you know, in Smithtown, we uh, wouldn't be able to use our school accounts to use it, but we can do it in our personal accounts and something that you would use as a teacher to plan. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily use it with students at this point. But, you know, I'd like to share these tools as they are coming out and developing just so you have an idea of what's out there. So best of <music>